spread among the hills in Serta County in Kardzi, Eastern Tibet. Lorongar Buddhist Institute is the largest and one of the most significant sites in Tibetan Buddhism. It was established in 1980 and has grown over the years to become home to anywhere between 10,000 and 40,000 residents. These residents include monks, nuns and visiting students who come from Tibet, China and other countries to learn. In June 2016, the government of Serta County issued an order stating that the number of residents at Larungar had to be reduced to 5,000 people by October 2017. The order came from the very top of the Chinese central government in Beijing. The order also decreed that vacated residences were to be demolished, along with other buildings such as nuns' hostels and old people's homes. It also effectively put Morongar's internal affairs under the control of the Chinese Communist Party CCP. It handed majority control of Lorongar's management to the CCP and stipulated that Lorongar's financial management should be handed over to Chinese authorities. Official sources stated that the order was issued for the residents' safety, to ease overcrowding and to reduce the risk of fire. But the residents of Lorongar were never consulted and their wishes to remain at the monastery and practice their faith in peace were ignored. Those removed from Lorongar were returned to their native regions of Tibet, often miles away from their colleagues and friends at Lorongar. The demolitions began a month later, in July 2016. They were carried out by Chinese work teams consisting of workers, local government officials, police and security services, accompanied by digging teams. The demolitions and removals took place throughout the rest of the year until December, when there was a pause due to the winter conditions, according to the latest figures, 4,828 people have been evicted and at least 4,725 buildings destroyed. The demolitions have had a devastating effect on people across Tibet, as well as the residents themselves. One resident likened the demolitions to destroying heaven. Three nuns are reported to have taken their own lives in protest against this destruction. One of them, Rinzen Dolma, committed suicide on July 20, 2016, and left a note saying she could not bear the pain of the endless Chinese harassment of innocent Buddhists who quietly studied at the Institute. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more stunning discoveries here at Nikki's channel.